The next step in getting the garden ready before dumping all of the soil is actually gonna be to take the stakes up and clean up a little bit. So I figured I would do that now and start collecting all of these. Some of them I am going to reuse, but other ones I'm just gonna throw out, but like the nice green ones, I'm gonna reuse them. They just need to be bleached first. So I figured we'll kind of just like make a pile of them and then they'll all go in with the trash cans when I clean everything. Oh, and I epically had trouble growing in these vertical ones last time I tried, probably because I suck at watering, but either way, I don't really like them that much, so I think I'm just gonna take them all down. I'm also keeping all my little reusable labels. Those also have to be clean, because again, stuff can spread from season to season, even on little tags. I just need to bag all these and dump them. I don't have a better place to do it than just in the trash. I feel kind of bad, but that's the best option in a city, so. Time to bring all these to the trash. It is so cute. As I was taking stuff out, look what I discovered. Again, okay, ignore dirty, we're gonna clean all this. A little tiny pumpkin. It didn't grow all the way. Obviously, like it's a mini, mini, mini one, but it must have fell off the vine before growing more and it fell in a place I didn't see and it's so cute. I think I'm gonna keep it. And now we're at the point where it's um, urban gardening mess on my balcony, but I'm definitely gonna clean up and not leave it like this. But so far, these are the bottom catchers because there's holes in the bottom so it can drain water. Those need to be cleaned and so do the ones with the dirt, but the dirt needs to be dumped first. And we'll make this look good again. Good afternoon. It has not been a few days. It is the next day and it's nice out. So I decided I had to go to freaking Home Depot and see what plants they have for the garden. I'm just, my pots aren't even set up. Like I'm not even ready, but I'm so excited that I was like, I have to, I have to go see what they have. So let's go to Home Depot and see what they got. It's a little bit early in the season, but I know they have garden stuff out already. I just don't know how much I'll end up getting. So let's see what they have. So that's where the normal gardening center is, but then they have this whole caged in area. Guess tis the season, right? Some flowers in here, decorations, pots. They have some peppers out here, so I might pick some up. I did some last year, not the specific kind, but we'll see how these ones do. I'm so excited for garden season. Let's do a haul of everything I got in there. I put in a grocery bra brag bag to bring it upstairs, but now they're about to go in my shower to try to get some of the bugs off because Home Depot notoriously always has aphids and other things, but they're the cheapest and closest place to get stuff at. So we're gonna put them in the shower and hopefully not get any bugs and all that crap. But should we haul it in here before we bring it to the shower? No, we're gonna haul it inside the shower, okay? I also got some sandpaper for my car or light thing, try to bring off the yellow, not the point. Point is, these are the plants I got. I feel like it looks so tiny inside of here. A few days later, or maybe a week or two, I'm not really sure, but I feel like I keep saying that. But either way, I'm listening to music in my ear. I'm grabbing these because we are making progress on the garden today a lot because it is sunny, it is gorgeous. Next week's gonna be in the 70s, so gardening time was a must and I'm starting to just figure out where everything's gonna go and planning all the things I'm gonna buy that I shouldn't buy. So the couch kind of just looks like a cluster fudge right now of like I put the mat back but I didn't unfold it and just it's a mess. It needs to be fixed over here. It needs to be fixed over here too but we are working on the pots right now. I got all the pots turned over. I got all the soil inside of it but only about halfway full. I need to get another batch of soil which is what we're gonna do after this but I wanted to put the poles in to kind of see how many more I needed because I need them for the tomatoes, the cucumbers, and maybe one pole for the peppers. I don't think I'm going to use any of the bamboo ones anymore because they don't use these clips and they're so much better with the clips. We have made an immense amount of progress. The sun is starting to set so it means I'm probably going to be done for the day but I figured I'd give you guys another update and show you and we'll do a few more things before I wrap up for the night. The carpet is set out. Everything's kind of back in its place a little bit. I start I started to peel off the stuff that was peeling on the table and it looks really bad peeled so I'm gonna take it down and not wait to take it down till I'm ready to paint if that makes any sense because originally I was gonna wait to take it down until I wanted to paint it but I'm gonna take it down now and then I'm going to sand it and repaint it with outdoor paint and adjust the height to be these two stools right here because originally I had a different stool out here that was taller and that's why this table is taller but I want to use these stools so we're gonna show shorten the table and sand it and repaint it so it's not looking all fugly and attach it better so it's not um, 
sloping like that but over here astro is leading the tour um i have these plants right here for now in this chair but i want to get a hanging chair for right here i found one on amazon that i think i'm going to get the planters are looking good i have more soil it's down in the car i don't know if i'm going to use this bad boy or not so i figured i would keep it out but i'll probably find a better place for it like let's just set this right here for now no i'll find a better place but yeah, so far it's looking a lot cleaner a lot better i cleaned the floors i really want to clean the walls i cleaned the walls where the bird poop was but which is over there but i want to clean the rest of these walls i just need to find a better faster method i'll probably do some googling because what i was doing i just look stupid and then i want to repaint this bad boy right here and get some grass down here it's gonna be great but so far it is already looking so much better so much cleaner and i do want to get new like cushion covers and pillow covers so everything's kind of just matching and looking better i think i am going to keep this rug and like incorporate the grass around i'm not really sure we'll see how everything looks but for today i mean let's grab my screwdriver and try to get this bad boy off it is very badly done it was makeshift with extra materials i happen to have in the closet and i think i'm gonna keep it because all the ones online are super expensive and not the size i want so let's get this bad boy off and we will refinish it soon we had a power tool with no battery in it so um battery locating can't remember where i just set one down oh over here with the vacuum because I all use the same battery because they're Ryobi tools and I also have their vacuums so I'm just gonna pop the battery off the vacuum and put it on the power tool. So, let's get that table off. And I would show you me trying to get this off but I don't even know how the heck I'm gonna show you getting up in there so uh, TBD. Ugh, the table is freaking off. That was so freaking annoying and it's way more rusty than I had realized, so I'm not fully sure if I'm going to reuse the parts or just build one from scratch. But either way, that one was such a badly done table. I literally did it, what, a year and a half ago, two years ago, when I was like, I don't want to spend any money. So I just used scrap wood in my closet, screws I had lying around, and it honestly worked for like a year. Only in this last year did it start to like turn, like tilt. But either way, not the point. Not sure if we'll use any of those materials again, but the table is freaking off. We'll just leave a blank space for it now. And I'm still gonna look online to see if I can find one in the size that I want so I don't have to buy new chairs too, because I like those chairs and I kind of want to use them because they're like the same height as the couch. So I figured that's kind of perfect. So the last thing I'm doing is just filling this up with dirt so it doesn't blow away and I can put it where I want to and we'll add a plant to it soon. But I'm not really going to do too much else today because I know it is getting late. Somehow the day got away from me and it's way too late and I don't want to disturb the neighbors. So um, this is the last thing we're going to do. Get some dirt in here and stick this right here. And kind of keep these ones as like decor -y, like succulents plants, maybe some flowers. And then we'll have to see how big the hanging chair takes up in space right here. I don't know if maybe some of these can go like next to it. We'll kind of see space-wise. And then when the hanging chair is here, it'll give me a better idea on how far to the left this table needs to go. Because like the couch is here and I kind of want a space between the couch and the table. But I don't know how much space the hanging chair is going to need for the table to be away from it, if that makes any sense. But right now, it's just going to be the stools here and the plants here here and lots of you on this side it a lot of progress today and i feel like it's just me bouncing from day to day to day but to like be realistic with these like reno change decorating videos it's like it doesn't happen in one day like it can't like not realistically like i have to take a week off for me to do it consistently over like a couple days and i'm not doing that like i do in my free time when it happens to be sunny outside and i want to hop outside and do some work on the balcony so that was a lot of work for today I'll see you again in a couple days. I got some more plants. Yes, yes, I did. So let's go down to the gar, gar. Let's go down to the car and get my two other trees. I brought some of the plants up already, but I had to make two trips because I had to pee like a racehorse. So I did not bring it up in one shot, but I did bring up the bag of plants. I returned some of the plants we got previously that I think I showed you because I just couldn't kill the bugs that were in it and got some more plants and some trees. But this bag right here is full of the plant babies. Can you see them or is it dark? There we go. Full of plant babies. We will go through them after we get some trees from the freaking car. 
Now, before we move to uh, figuring out what we're gonna do with all the plants and going outside and getting dirty, let me get out of this cute light colored outfit. It's adorable. I got this one from Forever 21, love the top. Got these jeans a long time ago, I think from like Ross or TJ Maxx, I can't remember, but either way, they're Levi's and they were worth the extra money. They fit like a glove, they've lasted, love them. One of my favorite jeans. But either way, I'm not gonna garden in this outfit. I'm gonna garden in my sweaty outfit that I garden in last time. We have been ugly outfit of five, which is not really an ugly outfit, just like a bland outfit. But either way, I want to take all the stuff out onto the balcony and haul it in the sunny shine. It is so, so nice that we are in the 70s right now. And I'm like, mm. okay, barely in the 70s today. It's gonna be a higher 70 tomorrow day. I think it's like a high of 72, but hey, that's still a lot warmer than it's been in a while in LA. Oh. Oh wait, just kidding. I am not gonna haul these outside because I have to wash off all the soil and all the leaves because I don't want potentially anything that was at Home Depot to be out in my garden. Oopsie. And then these are the ones I got today. I got a yellow pepper like I got last time, but I got a new one because the last one just was not gonna make it. Then we got, I mixed things up a little bit because they actually had my chocolate tomatoes. I was like, yes, finally I get my chocolate tomatoes. Those are the preferred ones I grow. So I actually got two of them. The other one is right here and I'm not even gonna grow another variety this year. I'm just sticking with my chocolates because those always do way better and produce the most. So I'm like, let's skip the effort of trying other ones when we know these ones do better, <laughs> at least in my little pots. And then this bad boy right here is another pepper. It is a type of jalapeno, but it's, um, does it say? It's an early flame jalapeno. I'm not really sure exactly what the full difference is, but I wanted to grow jalapenos and they had that one. So I was like, okay, we'll go with that. And then the last thing I got for the main part of the garden is a Carmen Italian red pepper, and it's a sweet pepper. So I think that one will do good. I don't know why it's like leaning weird. But either way, get all the nastiness off these before we bring them into the garden. And then I got a new set of strawberries because the last ones just, again, they weren't doing well. So we returned them and got these bad boys right here and kept those two other ones from last time. But literally what I'm gonna do with these is try my best to not disturb the roots, but still wash off all of the leaves, wash off the roots for most of the dirt. Now before those plants can go outside, now that they are desoiled and debugged, hopefully, I need more actual soil inside of my pots because I do have the two big bags brought up, but they're not actually in the pots yet. The pots are like halfway full. And I also need to bury my little hydrogen peroxide bottles that I water through. I'm debating if I need to make bigger holes or not. Like I think these holes are fine. I don't know. I'm just gonna bury them for now. If it's a problem later, I'll deal with it later. But for now, it's just a lot of soil. Lots and lots of soil to mix together and put inside of these bad boys. Is this the bigger shovel? I feel like I need a bigger shovel than this at some point, but it works for now. Let's just pop this bad boy open. Pretend like that was aesthetically awesome shot and um, that I totally popped through the bag with one hand in this thing, okay? Um, yeah, let's get to filling. And then I'm gonna mix this stuff, the peat moss, with the regular soil like we did last time because this garden soil is way too dense, so it needs the peat moss for drainage, but I still need to fill a lot more stuff before we can bring the plants outside. And all of the soil is in the pot. I have a surprise haul for you that I'm gonna mix in between this video. We're not going to decorate with this in this video. That will be coming soon, but I figured I would show you guys and you guys have something to look forward to for the next time we do a balcony video. But again, I went shopping. The first thing I got is more boring. We'll start with boring, get more fun as we go along, is outdoor paints. I just got some from Home Depot. I think it was like 15, 20 bucks. I wanna redo my outdoor table. I just got black. I figured it'd be the best color to go with. It's kind of expensive, but cheaper than getting a new table. And then I got this bad boy because, you know like those citronella candles that go outside? Point is, I feel like they burn so quickly and I'd rather have like 
the tiki lamps outside, which I have one, so let me show you what I mean. They look like this, and I feel like they are great for mosquitoes, and they take way longer to burn than those citronella candles do, but the reason why it's in my closet and not outside is because we're not allowed to have like open flame tiki things like this, so I figured that thing would be the solution, and I was so excited when I just tried it because I didn't buy one of these to put inside of it in the store because they didn't have the cheap ones like this. They had like glass ones that were nice and meant to be out displayed. And I'm like, no, I want something that goes inside of this. And I'm like, well, I do have these at home. And I'm like, what are the chances that this is going to fit inside of there when I haven't measured it? It fits literally perfectly. So it has these like handle things. So when you move the handles out of the way, it slides right in there like I, it could not have been better if I had measured it. So it fits perfectly inside of there and I'm hoping that it will contain the flame enough that it's just like burning a normal candle because those tiki flames get really big. So I'm hoping this contains it. Now, this was $20 and I understand that that is overpriced as hell, but it is aesthetic and it does work perfectly for what I want, kind of fits in with the aesthetic that I like, which a lot of times is overpriced. But either way, yeah, I spent $20 on this so I could burn tiki lights outside and save money on citronella candles. Not sure my logic is fully there, but this is also more aesthetic than a citronella candle, so that's also why I did it. Future me stepping in to say that I forgot to show you guys the string lights. So I got LED ones from Target, and they say they're $50, but they actually ring up as 28, and they are 10 lights, and they're 14 feet long, but light lighted length is 12 feet. But either way, hopefully it will be enough to make the balcony look cute. I might end up getting another box, we'll see, but let's continue with the haul. And then after Home Depot, after going to Target, I also went to TJ Maxx and Ross, and I found stuff at Ross that I didn't see like a week before when I was there, and it's these pillows right here. They are pillows that I wanted, but they were kind of expensive online when I saw similar ones, this like green leafy pattern, because I don't know, outdoor pillows get pretty pricey. So I ordered two sets of outdoor pillows. I'll show you guys soon when they come in the mail, and they are light blue and dark blue, and I was gonna put those outside, and for a two pack, it was $21 on sale yet this two pack right here of bigger pillows these ones are a couple inches bigger these ones are $14.99 so it's a better price and it's the aesthetic I was looking for so I think I'm gonna keep these two and pair them with one of the blue pillows whichever one looks better I'll show you guys when they come in but I'm just so excited to put these new outdoor pillows out there which we, again we'll do that in the next video because the other ones haven't even come in the mail yet and I got this plant right here, which I'm not sure if this is gonna go out on the balcony. It might look cute, not really sure about it. I wanna paint the leaves though to make it look more realistic. I just really liked it, so it might go inside, might go outside, and it was... $21.99, but that is everything I've gotten so far in the mail. In addition to like the plants we got, this is other stuff that's coming in that we will put out there soon. But either way, let's get back to doing stuff outside. I got two plants so... I did not just do that. <laughs> I have two plants soaking. I have the mint plant, and over here I have the rosemary plant soaking. I soak both of those because I'm afraid of bugs being within the leaves, and it's too hard just to try to splash the water between them. And so I was like, you wanna know what? I don't think giving them a shower and trying to wash them off is gonna be enough like the other plants, because the other plants I kind of went individually and washed every single leaf. And over here, like all the dirt, I'm gonna clean it up. I'm not gonna make a mess, but I'm gonna do that after we bring the plants outside and bringing them into the soil because I am running out of daylight. It is currently six o'clock and the sun does set later now, but I'm, I'm really running the clock and I wanna get these buried before the sun goes down, partially because I wanna film it, partially because I wanna film like TikToks and stuff, but you know, don't judge me. Let's bring these bad boys outside. And then I am gonna, whoop, they're dripping. Up. I really can't film and do things at once. We're gonna pretend like that didn't happen. I'm sorry, plant. I love you. I'm sorry I dropped you. Let's put every single one of them in their homes. These two are gonna be strawberries. These three are gonna be peppers, cucumbers, which I have not started yet. Then a bunch of herb plants here and the two tomatoes there. So let's see what it looks like after I put all these away. Got one pepper already planted for TikTok. She is in there. She needs to be watered and 
come back to life after all the traumatizing things I put her through. And I have a bunch more to plant. They are all planted. They still need to be watered. And a few more I'm growing by seeds. And a few more that need to be planted. But for the most part, we got so much done today. And now I just have to clean up a giant mess. Please, please, please hit the like and subscribe button down below. And I promise I will give you so many more gardening updates. And I hope you have a great rest of your morning, evening, night. Whatever it is for you, I'll see you Wednesday.